Just a bit of an update on to where the tea house is at the minute. I basically put down the slate uh, for the shelving. You can see, I think you've seen that part already, just in the alcove. And the slate is on top of the cupboard and drawer just there. I put together a little corner unit. Um, there's a little USB socket just at the back, just there, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. So we should be able to charge iPhones or whatever, but that's looking okay. A little bit of a heater just underneath, just to take the dampness out of the air when we come in, uh, in the colder months. And the next stage now is just to put two little shelves just in the centre there. So as you can see, I've created the frame, I've routed the inside edge, ran about 7mm down, can you see, and ran about 7mm in. I put some uh, plywood just there, then put some slate on the top of it. So that will fit in there, and I'll show you the design as I go along. All I need to do with this now then is just to glue it all together, make sure everything square and I'll do that now. So all I'm going to do is to put some glue on each edge. Whoop, there you go. I tend to put it on quite liberally. I don't mess about with it. Just needs on the edge, so I'll take that off. There you go. There we are, set everything together and then we'll square it up. Okay. But the next thing is to set up 90 degrees. I think there's some frame clamps you can get, but I haven't got them, so I'm using this. Just a digital set square. There you go. A square there. Okay, I'm happy with that. On this side.
nice and square. Let's see if this was moved. Just a touch. There you go. There you go. Oh. Okay. Just wipe out the excess glue. that to dry and then we can carry on and put the actual shelf in itself. I'm going to make two of these, one will go under the other. So there you go. Um, what I'm going to do now is secure the two posts. I'm using a infrared level just to make sure everything's level. Okay, I've already set that up. So all I'm going to do now is drill centrally down the top and just screw these into place. Just make sure it's level, certainly level vertically that way. Just need to touch it towards the wall, just a touch. Just there. There you go. Screw it into position. Ah, first of all, I've got a little chamfer on the top. So the screws will fit flush. Level it up again. There we go. That's about it. Taking that out, the screw got a little bit wonky and I don't want it to come through the side here. Okay, try that again. Some flush. Let's check the level. Let's put that way. 
Get the level this way and hopefully it will go on. Unfortunately the camera's on the tripod. So Because I haven't got the tripod, it's difficult to level it. There we go. That's good. I don't know if you can see it there. I don't know if the infrared shows up but that's level to me all I've got to do is the rear one and I'll do the same process vertically looking from this side I'll just use my eye but looking sideways I will use the spirit level again Central and that's flush. Okay, so that's the new one. Uh, fixed into position. So, these are the posts for the two shelves. So, I've already put mahogany stain and some um, black wax on it. So, what I'm going to do now is peel the wax back just with a little pizza knife. Just in certain places, and what that will do is show up the grain in certain places. Don't peel it back too much, there you can see. So what I'm going to do after is put some more black wax polish on. Okay, I'll just do that with both the posts first. That's the front one. Same with this one. Don't make it too even. Just twist at the same time. And what I'm trying to do is expose some of the pine, the pine grain itself. Not too much. Okay, that, that might need another couple of coats of wax. So all I'm going to do now, get the black wax. In this instance, it's Liberian. Wax polish black bison. Okay. 
and don't be afraid to use it. Lock it on. There we go. Good thick coat. And let it dry. There we go. Nice and thick. So bear in mind, initially I put on mahogany wood stain and while it's a little bit tacky I then put the wax in because the wax will react with the stain to make it even darker. There we go, that's not finished yet. Looks not the same with this one. Now, don't use a cloth to brush it in, that's a tip. If you do, you just smudge it all the way down, and the, you'll lose the grain, and you'll get an, an even sheen. We don't want that. What we're after is similar to this here. See how I've peeled it back? So that's the effect I'm after. So I used to have a wax brush. Unfortunately, it's disappeared. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a shoe um, polishing brush. Uh, hopefully that will do the same. Love to know where I put the um, original wax brush. But this is my shoe brush. Does the same job. As you can see, start to see the grain coming through. So there it is. The two posts will darken over time, just so that right-hand side larger post has darkened. So I'll leave that for a week, uh, give it another coat of black bison wax and keep polishing and over the next two or three weeks I should darken quite nicely. So those are the two posts in place. They are a little bit lighter than the right hand larger post but um, over the next couple of weeks I will keep applying the um, black bison wax onto them and over the next couple of weeks hopefully they will darken just as the right hand side one. So there you go. Uh, the internals now all, well, it's done other than the flooring. There'll be some other decker going in, but that's not for now. So the next stage will be the pond. Um, I'll leave that for about a month. Uh, one thing I've just done, you can probably tell, is the slate. I put some stone sealer on it, it really brings the colour of the slate out, as you can see. It's a bit shiny now, that will dry. But there it is, I've also slated the top of that main joist, just there, and at the bottom. So there you go. All you need to do is clear the tools out and after I've done the pond I will do the flooring and then add some furniture. 
Um, hopefully that will be in the spring, round about April, May time. So anyhow, um, hope you've had a good Christmas and a happy new year. This is the 3rd of January now. So I wish you all well and good luck on your own DIY.